Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the following 2x3 Sudoku. The rule says we should fill the grid so that every row, every column, and every 2x3 box contains the digits 1 through 6. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for solutions to more math puzzles. To solve the following, we've been told that each grid will have the digits 1 to 6 and you can repeat any of the numbers for every row or every column. So I'm going to start with the easy boxes, the boxes that already have most of the numbers filled. And that will be the first box on the left hand side and the box on my right hand side, my lower bottom. You can see that in that box, I already have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The last number left will be the number 6. And that is what I'm going to use to fill the empty box. If I look at the last grid, my top bottom right corner, I have already have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. The missing number there will be my number 4. The next step is to look for rows or column in which I only have one number to fill up. Starting with the first column, you can see that the numbers 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6 have been used. The last number to fill up that grid or that column will be the number 2. So I'm going to fill that up with 2. And then I can go to the second row. I already have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. The missing number will be the number 4. And then going to the fourth column, as shown, I have numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The missing number there will be the number 1. And then if I look at this box, this 2 by 3 box, I have the numbers 1, 2, 5, and 6. I'm left to fill in the numbers 4 and 3. But if I look at this column, I already have the number 4 in that column, so I can fill this box with the number 4. So the next option will be to fill the next empty box with the number 4. And because the last number missing, in that set of boxes is my number three. So this will be number three. If I look at the last column, I've been able to fill in two empty boxes. The last one will be the number two because I have one, two, one, three, four, five, and six. So two is missing. And if I look at the box circled, you can see that the missing number will be, I have 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. That will be number 3. Then if I go to the fourth row, I have the numbers 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The missing number to make up the digits 1 to 6 will be the number 2. And then looking at the second column, I have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The missing number here will be the number 1. And then note that the boxes I'm taking or the rows or column I'm picking at each time, I'm not using any particular order. I'm just trying to look for the row or column with one or two boxes missing. That makes it easier for me to fill up. For the one circled, the missing number will be my number 4 because I have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. And then I have two more boxes to fill. I'll go to the last row. In my last row, I have 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. The missing number is my number 3. And then for the last box, if I look at the lower left box, I have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The missing number will be my number 1. Thanks for watching. Bye.